The Director General of Dawn, or Dawn Commission, Sheye Ogunleye, has challenged members of the Oshun Development Association to prioritize nurturing young indigents of Oshun State, encouraging them to become high achievers like the association's founding members. Ogunleye delivered this call to action during a grand reception and honors event held by the Oshun Development Association in Lagos to celebrate and appreciate its founding members. The Oshun Development Association Orders is hosting a grand reception and honors event to celebrate and appreciate its founding members. Nonpartisan Oshun State elders, leaders of thoughts, technocrats, and professionals have gathered under the Orders umbrella for this occasion. <laughs> Themed, a celebration of founding members, inauguration of Council of Elders, induction of new members and thought leadership. The events, discussions focused on plans for the development of Oshun State. Focusing on futuristic things, youth development will be youth-centric, uh, uh, providing digital skills, economic empowerment to our people. Because our people in Oshun State, the purchasing power is so low. They used to call Oshun State a civil service state. It shouldn't be other 30 years of existence. It shouldn't be a civil service state. It should be a state where activities and where activities are driving what you have, uh, what you happen. Whatever salaries are not paid, nothing happened in Russian state 30 years after. It's a very pathetic story, but I believe that with organizations like ODA and others, we can change the narrative. In his keynote address, guest speaker, Dr. Sheye Oyeleye, commended the founding members of ODA he emphasized that as an association deeply aligned with the state's development aspirations, ODA should focus its efforts on mentoring youth to help them develop strong and positive personalities. Not only young talents that could replicate or even surpass the achievements of our honorees should therefore be a top priority. There is a Joanna out there on the streets of Oshogo, an Alani coming the bush in Igbajo and setting traps for rodents, Many Tundes in Ife, many Inolajis in Elisha. If these young people are to answer the son names of our honorees, how proud would we be of them? We must therefore rise from this occasion and make it a deliberate course of action to make sure these young people become personalities worthy of the seal of respect that our honorees command in society today. The arrival of Oba Adeyeye Ogunwusi, the owner of Ife, who had just completed a seven-day seclusion ritual, caused a frenzy in the hall. <music> Oba Ogunwusi commended the association for their efforts to promote the state's development. The highly reverend king urged the association to continue encouraging its members to leverage their extensive experience and expertise to further the state's progress. Oba Ogunwusi commended the association for their efforts to promote the state's development. Oshun State Governor Adimola Adeleke, represented by Oldwell Investment Company Limited's Group Managing Director Chief Lai Urilowo, announced that his administration has ended the policy of paying workers half their salaries. Our government also adopted the mantra of government as a continuum. We live it and we act it. I returned all the contractors inherited from my predecessor. None of these contracts were terminated. No contractor was fired. My only insistence was that they must deliver on what is signed with the state. The event featured several highlights, including tributes honoring the organization's founding members, presentations showcasing orders past accomplishments, the inauguration of the Elders' Council, and the induction of new members. Love Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.